Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be trying and testing the brand new Shell AOS. So um, what I'm going to do here is just actually select, uh, let me just turn the monitor off a second so I can select this virtual disk image. Where is it? It's not in there. Shall I? There we go. I'll turn that back on. Right, so um, audio, that's all done. Um, fine. So we should be able to start up this virtual box here. Let me just minimise that out the back. I will, should be able to actually run these in full, right, full screen. Um, because uh, OBS allows me to actually run the um, VirtualBox full screen and still record it, which is quite good, I think. So I will be doing that um, every week because this is my first video. So every week I'm going to be um, doing a review on a Linux distribution, and I'll be doing tips and tricks on that distribution and. Um, just generally how to install it and take you through how to use Linux if you've never used Linux before. Um, obviously, I have used Linux before um, many times. So, um, personally, my favourite distribution is Linux Lite. It's just really good. Um, but I've never tried Shell iOS. So, um, this is just going to install here. Right, so should be asked to switch to full screen here. Yeah, that is recording. Should install in a second, hopefully. Another thing about Linux Lite is the installer is just blazing fast. It really is really good. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So um, I've never tried this OS uh, chalet here. So, but apparently it's really good for new Linux users because it's like Windows 8, uh, which of course I am using here um, for my uh, recording. That right. So yes, this does look very much like Windows 8 here actually. Um, so let me get this actually installed. I actually do really like this. This is very good. Um, I do like the menu. Oh yes, definitely. So we're going to install Shell OS here. Uh, this virtual machine. This has got 10 gigabytes of hard drive space. This virtual machine. So we get it all configured, and then we'll, I'll show you how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Uh, so we get full 1920 by 1080 60 fps recording which should be good has at least 7.2 gigabyte available drive space connected to the internet yep we are indeed I do actually uh, really like this very nice Right, right changes to the disk. I do want to right change to the disk. So, if you just follow my installation, um, bearing in mind that what I just did uh, will actually erase your disk completely. Um, so make sure, um, well, I strongly recommend you back up your data. Um, so English UK, um, so indeed. That all works perfectly. Sometimes it sets it as the US layout. Um, but that does work. Right. My name. Yep. Um, Chalet OS. Pick a username. Same weak password, but it's a virtual box. So. Alright, so this is actually going to install here. Um, I 
this we've just got to wait for it to actually install. But I would strongly recommend trying if you have the um, the uh, let's just minimise this the capability to install in a virtual box. Um, by all means, do that because yeah, you can. It's yeah, you can just uh, uh, test it out, see how you like it. Um, and if obviously you don't like it, then. Oh well. I actually need to change the video around on this in a second. So I've just realised it's got 12 when it should have 3D acceleration as well. Oh well. I will be doing uh, reviews on these as well actually. Manjaro Netbook Edition, great OS, really like that. Linux Lite, um, I actually use that every day in VirtualBox, that's one of my main systems. LXLE, might do a review on that. Quite a good OS. Um, obviously, we're in Chalet OS now. Let me just actually get up on the screen here uh, what I'm going to do reviews on. I will be re doing reviews on OpenSUSE. Um, I will be doing reviews on. Let me have a look. Uh, I'm just using my other monitor here um, to have a look. Probably do Linux Mint, yeah. Ubuntu, possibly, because that's. They just released a new version actually of that, which I'm quite interested to see what it's like. Debian, may well do a review of that. Magia, yes, I'm probably going to do a review of that. Um, OpenSUSE, yeah, I'll do that. Arch Linux, possibly. CentOS, that's probably not what I'm not going to do. Um, what else is there? That's probably all that I'm going to do for the next few weeks. Um, oh, my synapse is turning the, uh, turn the DPI up on my Razer Um, just trying to see. D pin, that looks quite nice. Might do a review on that. Probably do a review on elementary as well, actually. Uh, let's see how this is doing. Alright, so that's nearly. At the end of copying files, so it should actually go a bit quicker after that. But this is definitely, I'd recommend to anybody that's um, using Linux for the first time because it's very got a nice menu layout and it's very much like Windows 8 and Windows 7, um, all mixed into one actually, which is quite nice. Um, what you need here. Let's see what we get. It is running actually very slow at the moment because I haven't upped the video RAM, and obviously it's installing. Uh, VLC, that's nice, nice addition there. Let's see what the default browser. Oh, the default browser is Firefox. I'll actually probably do uh, how to install Chrome on it. Actually, this uh, clock, I do like that. I like that a lot actually. Um, so that's nearly finished copying the files there. Um, this video is nine minutes long. Probably the installation videos will be quite long. Um, but yeah. I might actually split this video into two halves. So do an installation video, which is this is it's this video, and then do uh, one on how to configure and install software, probably in the next video. Let's see what this is like. Oh, that's quite nice. Quite like that. Like the whole thing. I oh, quite like the whole Shell iOS, really. 
think we get Clementine installed with this. Is that the old one? Oh no, you get a radio player. That's good. Uh, well, you do get a Windows emulator. Um, oh, let's go on there. Uh, Dacius. Yeah, quite good. Zero. Use that a lot, actually. Um, oh, it's based off of Zubuntu. I didn't know that. Do now. Um, I'll probably do a video actually on how to install software on Shallow OS and get it configured exactly how people want it. Obviously, leave in the comments below if um, you want me to do a video specifically on the distribution on how to install stuff or. Uh, how to configure things, or if you're not sure, or whatever, because I will, I will, sure thing, do a video on that. Configuring hardware, okay. Um, this video should be about 15 minutes long, and then um, the next one probably about 15 minutes long as well. Um, but I will split it into two halves. Uh, This is just nearly finished installing actually here. Um, right, installation complete. So I'm actually going to do continue testing and then um, I'm going to restart it from the virtual box because that's normally quicker. Um, so, go reset. So this is recording in uh, 60. Yes, let me just unmount that very quickly. Uh, restart. I forgot on VirtualBox you've got to uh, go to devices, CD devices, and remove disk. It's going to boot us into Shall OS here. Quite good. That's nice, like the booting screen, a lot actually. I think this is definitely a very good OS. But you should be seeing this in full HD um, and 60 frames per second as well uh, with the new YouTube 60 FPS. Um, so I'm going to log in. Click, oh, change this to UK. Log in. So I'm just the last part of this video. Um, actually, the first part of the next one will be installing and configuring uh, VirtualBox Guest Editions and how to install software. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.